If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. You know, AI is going to make homework a real uh, a real challenge. How, how are you going to be able to police AI when it comes to education? Pretty tough. Seriously, I wish it was around when I was in high school. Honestly, like... In college. Uh, that would have been so helpful. Getting through high school math, like... They have apps now. You can literally just put your phone up to the thing and it will solve it for you and show you how it solved it. Where the hell was that 20 years ago? Seriously. So mad. Um, a student in India built an AI to complete his homework in his own handwriting. Wow. It's, uh, the student wants to remain anonymous. He posted a video of his invention online. People are like up in arms, but also like he made his own AI do that. That's incredible. That's so impressive. He's a student. Wow. <laughs> in his own handwriting too? That's amazing. That's next level. That really is incredible. Um, but yeah, like where do we go from here? Like, you know, here's the deal, everyone. Remember, all right? It's, it's oh yeah, well, why do I need to know that? Uh, Google is there. One day it won't be. Just... Just expect it not to work one day. Expect all the calculators not to work because it could happen. It could. And the second it does, you know, it's like the people that can hunt, they'll be alive. Yeah. And I won't. Oh, simply, I, can, I simply won't. I can fish now. You can fish now. Maybe, there you go. Maybe I can live off the land. We'll see. Olympic officials are optimistic that the iconic uh, sign, I believe it's uh, the sign river, Going to be safe enough for this year's scheduled uh, swimming events at the Paris Olympics. Swimming been banned in the river for the past 100 years due to <gasps> industrial waste contaminating the water. And now it's safe enough? That's what they're saying. The mayor took a dip there and said, oh, Ooh. look, I'm in it. You know, it's like... Uh, oh, I don't know about that. Rem remember when Obama drank that uh, that one little uh, that one little sip of water from um, up there in Flint? It's like, oh, yeah, I'm just... Uh, I, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to drink this. And then drank it. And everyone's like, no, don't drink it. And it's like, come on now, bro. That's <laughs> not that's not healthy and you know it. Yeah. <laughs> Same I'm with this the, the Paris uh, mayor. That's not healthy and you know it. Although I mean, we went kayaking in the uh, in the river there in Boston. Yes. Charles River was nasty as well. Yeah, they cleaned it up enough where it's uh, safe enough. Safe enough to dip your hand into. I wouldn't want to be in there for a long term. No. Yeah. Who knows? You grow a fourth, fifth, sixth leg. Um, interesting. I don't know. Whatever the case. Uh, drunk Polk County, North Carolina man recently called nine one one after he became stranded. He requested a ride from a deputy. Officers found the man shirtless at an intersection late at night, and it turns out he was vi violating his probation. So they did give him a ride to jail. Yikes. Back where he belongs. This is uh, very, very sad. I know uh, how near and dear to your heart the Wiener Mobile is. Oh, I love the Wienermobile so much. There, I want to get married there. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, Wienermobile marriage. They were doing that for a second. There was like a promotion to get married with a Wienermobile. I know. I missed out. Hopefully so it's not sad. in front of this Wienermobile. There's several of them, by the way. There's more than one. Uh, but the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile crashed yesterday into a <gasps> Hyundai, flipped onto its side on Chicago's Interstate 294, no. The accident caused massive traffic delays. The driver lost control, overcorrected, got the rollover, no injuries reported. And all I have to say is, it's okay. There's a five second rule. <laughs> so you could just pick that thing up, put it back on its wheels. It's like it didn't happen, right? Oh my you still, gosh. You could, that wiener mobile could still be eaten. Not the wiener mobile. At least all the hot doggers are safe. Nobody was injured. That's good. I mean, I hope not. You know, wow. I mean, you they have to have like a harness. You flip over. That's like flipping over an RV. Yeah. Is anyone that's flip scary. on the other sides flopping down? Like, goodness gracious. That's got to hurt. Finally, you know, you ever dream of winning the lottery? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, well, I mean, everyone dreams of winning the lottery, but uh, some people act on it, and only one person I know of has ever seen this uh, work. A guy from Massachusetts had a dream about buying a specific scratch-off lottery ticket there in Massachusetts. Okay. He had a dream. He's like, I'm going to buy the the uh, $10, $4 million diamonds scratch-off ticket. That's the dream he had. Wow, now, okay. You've been to Massachusetts now. You've seen how many scratch-off tickets there are. There's a lot. Like 130 to choose from. Yeah. He, he, he had a dream about this one. So he went down the street to the 7-Eleven he bought a ticket, won a million dollars. No way. Won a oh, million dollars. Oh, my gosh. 
Man, why can't I have a dream like that? Honestly, I've had a dream all the time. Hey, Sean, you're going to play the Powerball and you're going to win. And then I go drive all the way to SEMA Road in California yeah. and I lose. Yep. I hate that dream. 